2023 was defined by advances in artificial intelligence. We know there's tremendous promise. Every time we open the news, we see incredible advancements, but that's not necessarily the case in aviation, and it's not necessarily the case in space exploration. There are a few different kinds of autonomy, one of which we'll call expert-coded systems or rules-based systems. This kind of autonomy has been with us really since the beginning of aviation and aerospace. It's very powerful under the right conditions. You write out rules in an if-then kind of a way, and these rules have to be robust. And of course, you need a group of experts who can generate the code to make the system work. And even when you look to today, some of the most cutting edge applications of autonomy, both in flights and in space exploration, are based on this expert coded type autonomy. ACE is fundamentally different than other autonomy efforts because we use machine learning. The machine learning approach relies on analyzing historical data to make informed decisions for both present and future situations, often discovering insights that are imperceptible to humans or challenging to express through conventional rule-based languages. Machine learning is extraordinarily powerful in environments and situations where conditions fluctuate dynamically, making it difficult to establish clear and robust rules. The flip side of that coin is the challenge, which is they're not fully understandable. Understandability and verification are holding us back from exploring that space. To propel aviation and space exploration into truly game-changing applications, we need a machine learning breakthrough. There is not currently a civil or military pathway to certify machine learning agents for flight critical systems. We have to be able to trust these algorithms to use them in a you know, real world setting. 2023 was the year ACE made machine learning a reality in the air. The ACE program is trying to develop a framework that will enable pilots to build well-calibrated trust in the autonomy. When DARPA went to explore this problem, it looked as it does for the hardest kind of challenge it can find. And dogfighting is a perfect case for the application of machine learning. Dogfighting is extremely dangerous. So if machine learning can operate effectively, in an environment as dangerous as air-to-air -air combat, it has great potential to earn the trust of humans as we look to applications that are less dangerous, but equally complex. ACE kicked off with the Alpha Dogfight trials. We had eight teams compete against each other using a variety of different algorithmic approaches, learning, adapting, and evolving, mastering complex aerial tactics through countless simulated dogfights. For that final event, you had an AI agent against a human pilot in a simulator. They ended up sweeping all five matches, defeating the human in that case. However, our agents had not yet been trained to adhere to human norms, what we call training rules. These rules keep you safe when you fly. We needed to innovate new ways to enforce safety and human norms into opaque neural networks. Since our agents learned, we encoded these norms into the environment through a sequence of simulation updates. After years of painstaking development in simulation environments, it was necessary to confront the real world. One of the primary problems machine learning and artificial intelligence has had to overcome is something called the sim to real problem. The simulation environment still lacks a tremendous amount of fidelity from reality. Integration of a machine that's going to control an aircraft in real life is a difficult problem because that machine has got access to flight control surfaces that can over G the airplane, could break it, could do real damage. We had to have an airplane they couldn't break. And that's where Vista comes into the picture, the X-62. The X-62 is a very unusual airplane. It started life as what we call an in-flight simulator. While we're flying, we can simulate just about any airplane. So to make it safe for the Vista, they put in these things called safety trips. On top of the safety trip system that we have on Vista, we also have a sandbox for autonomy as well. So we have an integrated space within Vista and the flight controls that allows for artificial intelligence agents to send commands into Vista as if they were sending commands into a simulated model of Vista. So think of a simulator laboratory that you would have at a research facility. We have taken that entire simulator laboratory and crammed it into an F-16, and that is Vista. The incredible accomplishment of this year was to take these machine learning agents and place them into the X-62 in a real world environment. So beginning in December of 2022, that was the first application of machine learning agents to control the flight path of fighter aircraft, a world first. 
In April, we then flew several AI agents. We retrained agents on a daily basis, updated flight control laws overnight, and reprogrammed the aircraft to fly the next day. Over 100,000 lines of flight critical software changes were made as the system evolved during flight test. And then finally, in September 2023, we accomplished another world first. Where we actually took the X-62 and flew it against a live manned F-16. We built up in safety using the maneuvers, first defensive, then offensive, then high aspect, nose-to-nose -nose engagements, where we got as close as 2,000 feet at 1,200 miles per hour. And while the X-62's unique safety features have been instrumental in allowing us to take elevated technical risks with these machine learning agents, in this test campaign, there were no violations of the training rules which codify the airmen's safety and ethical norms, demonstrating the potential that machine learning has for future aerospace applications. It's very easy to look at the X-62 ACE program and see it as under autonomous control, it can dogfight. That misses the point. Dogfighting was the problem to solve so we could start testing autonomous artificial intelligence systems in the air. But every lesson we're learning applies to every task you could give to an autonomous system. The X-62 is an incredible platform, not just for research and advancing the state of tests, but also for preparing the next generation of test leaders when they're thinking about how to make sure that the capability in front of them is safe, efficient, effective, and responsible. The X-62A team demonstrated that cutting edge machine learning based autonomy could be safely used to fly dynamic combat maneuvers. The team accomplished this while complying with American norms for safe and ethical use of autonomous technology. This is a transformational development. What the X-62 ACE team has done is really a paradigm shift. We've fundamentally changed the conversation by showing this can be done safely and responsibly. And so now we've created a pathway for others to follow in building machine learning applications for air and space.